Stephanie Milkey here, a.k.a. Keto Mom, or often called mom, sis, Steffi, daughter, wife, aunt, and friend. Just like many of you, I carry a lot of titles. My favorite title is mom. I should probably say wife, which takes a lot of my time. But let's be honest. If you want to do something and do it well, you will make the time for it. Commitment is hard because we find ourselves overcommitted. But when you practice prioritizing, you will find out what is actually important and what you can let go. With the Keto Mom Podcast, you will learn together how to manage our time, commit to the most important things in life, and I will equip you with the tools you need to feel qualified each step of the way. My name is Stephanie Milkey, and welcome to the Keto Mom Secrets Podcast. Hey, welcome to Keto Mom. My name is Stephanie, and we are going to talk about this little phrase, yard by yard, life can be hard, inch by inch, and you can make it a cinch. I'm going to give you one phrase, one concept, one idea to help you on your keto, low carb, health, carb conscious, I want to feel better journey. That's what we're going to talk about this morning. So as you're tuning in, I would love to know where are you tuning in from? I am tuning in from Minnesota. If you're brand new, I need you to post new below so that I can meet you and I'm not going to lie. I'm really sore. (laughs) If you've been following me for a while, I uh, do CrossFit with our family. I did a fun little reel yesterday. Yesterday was leg day. I went to sit down and I'm like, I can't move my legs. So sore. Today is a, today's going to be a great day. It is going to be a great day because I choose for it to be a great day, right? All right. Let's start our, let's start our morning off with, I want you to actually, this this would help a lot of people. I need you to play full out. I need you to be present. I need you to actually comment. All right? So in saying this phrase, yard by yard life. It So here's the book that I read that from. I read this book yesterday. It's called Thinking for a Change. But here's what the actual phrase says. And the man that said it was named Uh, Robert Schuller, and he said, yard by yard, life is hard, but inch by inch, it's a cinch. I changed it a little bit because I don't know if that's 100% accurate. So I said, yard by yard, life can be hard. Inch by inch can make it a cinch. I say that because there are people and stories that you read about that just everybody's different and everybody takes their goals and takes the things they want to go after at different strides, right? So you'll hear me say things like, listen, stay in your lane. Stop comparing yourself. Stay focused. And there are some people that can just run so, so, so fast. But here's what I want you to understand. And here's where we started our keto diet. And I'll explain to you what we did to help you on your own journey to, to make it the inch by inch. Sorry. All right, so I want you to share something below. I want you to share one action, one step, one thing that if you did it for the next 90 days, or maybe you're currently doing it, if you did that one thing, it would help create a snowball effect of choosing healthier choices, better options, of getting you pointed in the right direction. One thing. What I mean by that is this. I want you to share one thing below that you you can go, if I drink more water and less sugary drinks, if I just did that one thing, that would be a great step towards me achieving my goals. What is one thing that you know that if you did, one thing might be if I just went to the gym and if I just actually did a workout three to five times a week, what is one thing that you more water? Thank you, Cheryl. What is one thing? Planning. Yes, Kathy. If I just planned my food, if I just did that one thing, it would it would change everything for the rest of the week, 100%. Lifting weights. Yes, Carrie, I love it. Drinking more ketones, Lori. I love that. I agree. One thing. If you did one thing. Uh, not going to fast food places. 100%. Trying to go to bed earlier. Yes, that would change everything because you would get up and own your morning, right? Keep showing up at the gym. 100% Lauren. No pop. More water. 100%. Yes, Debbie. All right. 
Here's what I want you to understand. <clears throat> this one phrase, all right? Sleep better. Yes. All right. <clears throat> yard by yard, life can be hard. Inch by inch, it can be a cinch. The first step in strategic thinking or going after the goals that you want is to break them down into smaller steps. It makes it more manageable. How? I'm sorry. Nothing is particularly hard if you divide it into small steps. So here's what I want you to understand. And here's the concept behind even all we're going to do today. Like I like to say, listen, anything we talk about, you can take into your relationships, into your work environment, into your marriage, into your spiritual life, into your finances. Right now, I want you to hear me on the concept of getting healthy, getting stronger, losing fat. Here is what I did seven years ago. I took it inch by inch and I said, all right, <clears throat> the only thing I'm going to do is I am going to only focus on breakfast. That's it. That's all I said. I didn't dive into this huge ketogenic lifestyle. I said, all right, I'll eat keto low carb with my husband, but it's going to be a process. And so all I did is I got a sheet of paper out and I wrote down, let me see, if I have paper. I legitimately took a piece of paper just like this. It was a colorful sheet of paper. I wrote down breakfast and I wrote down my options for breakfast and I taped it on the refrigerator. And I wrote down eggs, bacon, sausage, keto pancakes. And that was usually on the weekend when I, when I made more time to make a bigger breakfast. And then at the very bottom, I said, look into intermittent fasting. Because at that time, I didn't understand it. I didn't want to fast. That's all I did. That was one inch, one. And when I was, when I got the cereal out of the house and the donuts out of the house, and I was like, all right, I can do this. I can have protein and fat in the morning. That keeps me fuller longer. Meat and eggs and a little bit of avocado. That helped me feel better. So once I had that under control, I took another sheet of paper and I wrote lunch. And on the lunch, I wrote tuna fish, egg salad, low carb wraps, leftovers, uh, meat and cheese, veggies, pickles, hard-boiled, har excuse me, hard-boiled eggs. I'm like hiccuping half and <clears throat> anyways. And then I taped that right next to my breakfast option. So when I was either in a hurry, maybe I didn't plan or I just was like, I need to eat something. I would go, Oh, here's my options. And I would make that. I did the same thing for dinner and I wrote down some dinners that our family was going to eat. So I didn't have to think about it. So I was like, here's the options I'm going to work towards. Inch by inch, I'm going to make better decisions. Once I had those meals somewhat like choosing more veggies and more protein and less carby junk, once I had that under control, and it was not overnight. You guys, it took me a year, one year to truly understand like, Here's some great vegetables. Here's the meals our family likes. Here's what I don't like. Oh, I'm not feeling full enough. What can I have for a snack? I put snacks down and I wrote almonds, macadamia nuts, beef sticks, cheese sticks. Like I wrote down the things that I enjoyed, but then I didn't have to think about it because like somebody said on here, if I can meal plan, it's going to prepare me for the rest of the week. And so that's all I did. And if you take it inch by inch, one meal at a time, right? One focus at a time. When you have your meals and you're like, these are our favorites, someday when I have more time and I go on to Pinterest or if I go to ketomomsecrets.com and I click on recipes and I find my one that we've never tried on the weekend, I will try that. If it's great and I can make it easily and it works with our family, I'll put it on the list. That's what I did to go inch by inch. After that, Actually, in between that, I, I honestly focused on my water. So I was like, you guys, I used to drink strawberry pop and orange juice mixed together like it was going out of style. I don't even know if you've ever done that. Orange juice and strawberry pop. I mean, I drank so much sugar, it was ridiculous. And so I said, okay, I'm not going to buy this anymore. I'm going to drink water. And I did silly things like I found my favorite cups with straws. And I put rubber bands on my cups to remind myself to drink more water. And I did different things so that I would set an alarm clock to go every hour just to remind me to drink water till I got into the habit of there's water bottles all over our house and cups every day. 
inch by inch. If you try to speed through this health journey or this fat loss journey or I need to lose 60 pounds by Christmas, if that's your mindset, you're probably going to sprint so fast, you're going to fall, you're going to trip, you're going to get frustrated, you're going to let the holidays take you out, and then you're going to quit. So, little things. What are you drinking? Let's focus on your drinks first. If you don't even want to focus on the food, if all you, most people ridiculously over drink, I mean, drink so much sugar, I, I honestly am like, none of that is serving you in any way, shape, or form, except for making you feel happy because you enjoy sipping on it. If there's one thing you cut out right now, you look at what you're drinking. That's one inch. When you're drinking more water, I would say drink ketones. I drink ketones every day. That's a tool. Find some tools to help you, right? What's your a favorite kind of cup? Or what, what do you like to drink out of? I love drinking with a straw. It makes, oh, I'm so sorry. I did not flick you off. I love drinking with a straw. <laughs> Awkward. Um, I love drinking with a straw. <laughs> Uh, ketones helped me. They gave me the energy. So that was my tool, no matter what, right? I drank ketones. Some of you drink coffee. Some of you need to look at how much sugar is in your coffee. Some of you drink a ridiculous amount of energy drinks. That is not good for your heart. Uh, so pay attention to your drinks. And if, that all, if that's all you do, that's one inch. Once you have that under control, then you go, am I going to eat breakfast or intermittent fast? That's another inch. What should I eat? <clears throat> right? After that, let's do the breakfast and then the lunch and then the dinner and then the snack visuals taped on your refrigerator. Maybe you need something taped in your car. Maybe you need a post-it note on your car that says, no, pack your lunch. You don't go through the drive through I was thinking about this this morning. How many times do you for, how many times have you been busy or you forgot your lunch or you need to grab something quick? We've done this before. It would be easy to run through a drive through but just so you know, it's just as easy to run into a grocery store, grab some low-carb wraps, meat and cheese, and make your own wraps in the car. It's going to be better for you. You're not going to feel like garbage, and you're, you're probably either going to wait in line at a fast food line or run into the grocery store real quick. Self-checkout, hello. Like, or even some of the gas stations, I can run in and grab some meat and cheese if I did not plan to make a better meal, Right? So you just got to think outside the box. If I did not plan, I'm not going to give Mickey D's my money or my stomach or my feeling like garbage after I eat it. I'm going to run into the grocery store quick and grab something because food is fuel, right? So inch by inch, one day at a time, it's having awareness. It's planning. Maybe it's your planning. I would say planning is huge for most people because if you do that once a week, you will set your entire week up for success. Might just be going to the gym. I was listening to Dr. Ryan Lowry. I'll share his video on my stories. He's one of the formulator. Well, he's a, he's a huge avid of keto. He's create, he helped create ketones. Uh, he coaches people and a lot of athletes on keto and low carb and carb conscious every day. And one of the things he said is, if somebody truly wants to create, have their body start being fat adapted, or if they really want to see a huge change, he goes, the fastest thing you can do is get some cardio in or get some like workouts in. And if you can do that for a full three days, your body is going to adapt to your lifestyle faster. It's going to move into a healthier direction faster. So, and everybody has their own, um, capabilities of workouts, right? So whether it's walking or running or all those things. So that's just a side note. I'll share what he said on my stories today because I thought it was super helpful. Here's the thought. Yard by yard, life can be hard. Let's say yard by yard, your fat loss journey can be hard if you're taking it in huge strides. But inch by inch, it can be a cinch. One little thing, and that's why I had you share what is one thing that you can switch for the next 90 days that will propel you into the next year, right? Into making better decisions. So start with your drinks, one meal, going to the gym, planning once a week, little things. Everybody shared something below. So that is your helpful tip of the day. Inch by inch, stay in your lane. Stop comparing your journey to your neighbors or to your coworkers or to your sister or your best friend. Stop that. You're focused. And by the end of the year, if you take this seriously, you will have momentum to go into the next year. And you will be running 
inch and inch and inch and inch, right? So I hope you guys have a great day. That was my thought for you. Enjoy your afternoon or evening or morning, whatever time you're watching this at. Continue to tune into the page. If you have questions, send me a message. KetoMomSecrets.com has recipes and how to get started and so many different things to help you. KetoMomSecrets.com. Otherwise, that's it. I got to go home school. I don't. I, let me rephrase it. I get to. Now, I have to. I get to homeschool our kids. We have four daughters. If you didn't know, we are on a fun journey. We are in high school and junior high and middle school and all of the things. And it is a lot and it is great. And I am happy and blessed to do it. So have a great day. I'm going to finish my mom fuel. Listen, if you've never tried this, hands down, best thing to ever drink. We should chat. You should post mom fuel in the comments. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.